Okay, let's see this new page. This one from this page, from this picture. You can see actually we want to teach the students about human body, okay? And also how to spell it in, into English. For example, let's say this is a human body and we just give a certain certain part. And for example, this, maybe we call it head, right? And for some teacher, like, like uh, I want the student to, to uh, write, how do the head spell? And maybe here, leg, how do leg spell, okay? Maybe I, I'll just ask the student to try here, for example. Or this is uh, wrote by John. And uh, maybe, uh, let's say, change the color. And uh, Emily, he, her answer is, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot uh, the, the order of the, of the alphabet. Is it H-E-A-D or H-A-E-D? I'm not sure. Okay, so let's just ask all the students. So those two uh, answers also confused a lot of students a lot because they also uh, confused with the alphabet position. And let's say, do you have a accurate, a more accurate right answer here? Yes, we have. Let's say, drag it into a certain piece. Okay, this is two answer from the students, right? And let's say our right answer is here. So H E A D. Ask the students to say ah, oh, which one? Whose whose answer is right? John's answer is right, and Emily's answer was wrong. So from here you can say. Let's just give. This means we just give the students. Uh, a li list of qu of questions. Let's just say on uh, which which part. Maybe this is knees and this is foot, and ask them to try try themselves to to wrote the, the answers here, and we just give the right answer from here. Okay, the right right answer is just the hand here. The same. This. It's also what we just mentioned, layer technology. And also by, by this, you can also see the answers from here. We can also drag it, drag those uh, words into the same position, into a right position. For example, head. Where is head? Drag it. Here, uh, here is head and the chest. Where is the chest? Here. So it's also a way find the right solution to your teaching. Okay. This is layer technology. Uh, why do I need to to introduce the layer technology so much? Because this this function is quite easy to use and understand, but it's quite useful. You can use it into every different classroom, different subjects. So, please, just I give you an idea on how to teach in such, such a course. How to say subjects. And it's just depend on your imagination. Using your teaching resource, okay, to make your classroom more interesting. Far more interesting than my mind, because I am not a qualified teacher. And also, let's say, our software, you know, some uh, customers ask them, ask them, ask, do you, do you uh, have the function that when we write something? Because you have handwriting, right? Yeah, you can write everything, anything you like to, to the board. And do you have the handwriting saving function? If I want to save, uh, save something in like Word, PowerPoint, or Excel, yes, we have. Let's see. Here we have a 
happily, and let's just open a word. Here you can say, this is so uh, simple as a traditional word surface. And let's say, this is a specification. And what I wrote here, I want to save it. And because I think this part is quite important, okay? You need to remember this uh, after class. How to save it from here? Let's see. Move and save. What it is? This is our software, which is totally compatible with the uh, MS Office, with Word, PowerPoint, Excel, like this. So. If your surface has this, which means you can press here to save it. Okay? And when we change the pen into mouse, such things are still there. What does it uh, save into what kind of format? Actually, it's like a picture. You can say, right? It's like a picture, it's just saved. So, it's the same, basically, if we need to set, for example, like, uh, exact, okay? There, no need. Let's just try Excel from here. I want to write something. For example, all I write here, okay, the Excel surface, right, it's no problem. And we can also say here, move and save, which means our software is still here. So, you can save it. And next time, we'll press the mouse button, switch into mouse, it's still here. Right? So it's just saved like a picture. And you just need to save this, this file into like, give a certain name. So this is original handwriting saving. And let's say another function. Here, we can say, this is a, the toolbar, right? Because uh, it's, it's too high. I'm not, uh, you know, for some teachers at my height, I'm not tall enough to, to uh, get such toolbars. This is like a toolbar for convenience. And the second one, this, is handwriting recognition. This is set up handwriting recognition, which means all your handwritings can be recognized as printing words. Let's say they have language, okay? Because uh, uh, our, our, our introduction to uh, foreign customers, they don't know quite much about Chinese, but I'll just give you an example for this, okay? For example, Chinese. The first way to to uh, make it come true is you can write something and change it into mouse, select it, and long pose it. This is the printing words. Maybe you can see, let's just change the color into the right one. So this is handwriting for uh, Chinese. Chinese is just a, a, a very short example. Let's just see another, okay? Also, from here. And set. Set the language, for example, into English. And, okay. We have two ways to, uh, to make the handwriting recognition come true. The first one is just like the one I just showed you. It's 
or you write something and select it and use the right mouse, long pose. Let's just show you. Okay, tricks. And select long pose. This is the handwriting. Okay? Also, we have another way. Another way is input a certain text. Okay? Give a certain text. And write something. Change into change the mouse into pen and write something. Okay? Welcome. Welcome to China. And how to make space here? Here we can use the screen keyboard. Okay? And welcome the mouse into here and space. And after two, space. So this time you can see it's a whole word. This is the second way to make the handwriting recognition come true. Let's just review, okay? The first is write. Just, you know, the, the mo most importantly, the first way is to set, set it into English and write it. Okay? Write something and change the pen into into mouse and from the right mouse, long pose, long pose for at least uh, two or three seconds. Not just, you know, for example, this is just the right mouse, okay? And long pose. Here is the handwriting recognition. Right, that's the first way. And second way, and remember, Set the English first and select a text. Inside, input a text and write something. You know, or Miss Honey Jenny. So you can also give a handwriting recognition from here. So this is a very important function of this software. And let's see, also we have a very important function that which I need to introduce family. Family, from here we can say trace recorder. What is trace recorder? Choose it. And from here it's start. Before we start the truth recorder, let's just uh, give an introduction on what is this. Actually, the recorder is when you use it, start, start, record, okay? Everything you wrote on the board, also including your voice, your sound, can be saved. Saved into a, a standard API format, which is like a video. It's, it's quite you know, you know, uh, useful. You don't need to take a camera here and uh, in your classroom. You just need to use this and record everything with your, even with, with your sons. You know, for example, uh, my notebook, I have the microphone inside the laptop. So when we, when we take this, you can say actually, we can uh, save all the things you just operated. And after class, you can hand out hand out all the uh, you know uh, videos to your students to make them just review it. That's just a start. Try and
I give a okay and give a link and also operate the computer everything from here can be saved okay let's just check what I just mentioned is right or not in the desktop open it let's just say what is this please just say right this is what we just do in our um, whiteboard So in this case, you can say when the students come back to home, they can review all the whole class from this EVI video. Write everything here. Such functions. 
So when you don't want to, to use it, for example, this, this one, I, I made it wrong. So I want to move it into here. But you can see when I move it. So for example, it's a copy by drag. Okay. For example, I want to change this move into here. But it's copy, right? How to stop it? Just cancel copy by drag. It's okay. Then you can change the position. There will be no copy. So this is also a very good function for for the uh, right mouse. And like used in games or in something. This this function. Okay? And let's just review what we just uh, introduced for the, the whole functions, okay? Mouse and four pens. For example, I want to write something. I don't like this color. I really, I, I like blue. How to change it? For example, we have to switch the pen into mouse and select it. From the toolbar, we can change the color from here. Border color. I really like blue. So, it will just change into blue. Okay? Also, there are only four colors. I really like purple. But here is just black, red, blue, and green. How to make it into purple? So, just double press any one of the pen button. Anyone, maybe black or red or anyone. Double press. And you can see, we can change the pen's width. Also, we can select the color. For example, I, I, I really need a very, very uh, strong pen and select the color, I like purple, and conform. Okay, so this time when I write something, you'll think the change. Whoa, it's quite cute, right? So this is the difference to change the colors and the widths of the pen. And let's say, for example, I, I really like such kind of words. Maybe I, I want I want to write such words next time. Next time when, when you uh, close this software and when you, when you reset your computer. But here, you know, such change of color and words is only like miss once or or just how to say when you close this window, it's just back into the default ones. So, how to change it? How to change the pen color and whites internally? Let's say from here, from the tools, control panel. We have the settings, okay? Rubber, I want to change rubber internally into, into a very big one. I want, for example, this black, right? I want to change black pen. The whites change into like seven. And select the color I want to change into purple or into yellow. Okay? Into yellow. And confirm. So, this time when you press this, you don't need to set it. It's the one you just set. And also when you close this, next time when you press the, the black button, it's also a yellow one. So this is how to change the color eternally and what's eternally. Also from the control panel, we can say floating tools. This is the one we say from here, from the hardware, floating tools. When you press this, it's still here, right? Here we can we can select the floating tools uh, uh, you know, for example, I don't want the right mouse. 
I want to uh, add something like capture screen capture. Oh, here we have screen capture and yeah, magnify screen. And for example, video recorder. I want to add the video recorder into here. Let's just drag it into here. So video recorder is here. And let's confirm. This is our video recorder. So the floating tools can also be set from the control panel. This is what our control panel we use. And just make it control. And also, the one we just set here is just like red something. And how about this rubber? Actually, it's not a small rubber. You can you can erase it, right? It's quite small. But for example, it's a it's a, a whole area. I want to change it. I want to erase it. It's it's quite small. It's quite complex. Let's say there is a function. Called a circle erasing. When you draw a circle around a subject and click the center area, it will be just the delete the whole area. Let's see, for example. Right? This is a second way to erase something. And change the words of the rubber by double press double press this the rubber and change it into a larger one okay just change it so this is bigger it will be qu more quick right for this and let's say when we write something
click the mouse button to make it go on. Mouse. 